morning, M0MSN, uh, Mike's the name. Um, if this is the first time to the channel, can I say welcome? And uh, if you're a repeat offender, uh, then I say welcome back. And uh, thank you for visiting. Anyway, it's been, uh, been a bit of busy week, to be honest with you. Nothing finished, no projects finished at the moment, but uh, we're getting there. What are we doing? Well, we've got the Roly coil, um, which I've seen a couple of videos back, perhaps. Uh, we've done an updated version of that. I think I published that last week. Well, um, I've been playing with it, basically, and uh, we've now got a version that will work um, with other elements. So you can now have uh, 40, 80, uh, 20, 10, whatever you want on the DX Commander. Um, and the 80 is base loaded, um, so it will work with other elements. Uh, but that's uh, another video, and we'll show you that. Um, I might put a little insert in uh, in a moment or two so that you can see, um, you know, it's a bit of a taster there. Um, I've also had a, um, some great response to the uh, to the Gain Master uh, video. Uh, and as such, um, I think I said during the making of that, that if it worked well, I would uh, build a, um, another one, but using better materials. Well, um, I've got the materials. Uh, I've got some better coax and uh, some uh, so I think I'll remake that video um, using the better uh, coax just to see if it makes any difference really. Um, I'm amazed at how well the original one works. So uh, to remake it again to see if uh, it makes any difference with, with um, some better quality coax is uh, it's something to see. So we'll, we'll have a go at that. Um, right, also I've uh, dug the garden um, to to hide some coax below ground to help with the electromagnetic compatibility. Uh, so there's a, uh, well, it's not much of a video there, but you, I've done that over the last week or two. Um, right, so what have we got? We've got Roly coils. We've got um, the Gain Master remake. Um, I've also made a couple of NFED half waves, but uh, um, they've been for, uh, for friends and colleagues. Um, and they've worked incredibly kind of well. Stuck. Uh, a bit of also, glue in the back. Uh, we are back going to build a, a mag loop. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Brian, has uh, very kindly made me some trombone um, capacitors, um, which uh, I, I shall show now in, in, in an insert. Um, trombone capacitors are basically made with uh, 22 mil and 15 mil copper pipe. Um, the 15 slides inside the 22 and obviously creates a, a trombone capacitor for the mag loop um, and it tunes from 14 megs uh, right up through to about 28 29 meg um, and of course we can we can take the take it lower by uh, clipping on um, capacitance um, which will we'll, we'll demonstrate show anyway that's to come that's a build that we still have to uh, to complete and to finish but I'm back at work as well of course which means that um, I haven't got as much time to devote to uh, making um, the YouTube videos as I as I had before um, but some way somehow we'll, we'll make it all work and make it all wonderful uh, and I'm sure there's other things um, oh yes I have to make a, a video uh, 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 about the Pi Zero um, and uh, also a couple of videos are um, about uh, the C4FM. Uh, we'll be doing that as well. And uh, ah, well, there's, there's much more to come, uh, much, much more to come.
Magloop, Antonai, with a trombone capacitor made out of 15 and 22 mil copper pipe, with a PTFE dielectric insulator. And that's the next project. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, that works as well. And uh, here's a few other channels for you to have a look at.